Hi, this is Nakanya, and welcome to my bodacious kitchen. We're going to make a pumpkin pie tonight. It's that time to start making all the fall desserts and getting ready for Thanksgiving. This is an old-fashioned pumpkin pie. Of course, you can go buy the store bought They're really good, but we were given as a gift a pumpkin by some of our friends, and it had the most beautiful um, inside. And we're going to show you a little clip of what it looks like coming out and my husband carving the actual pumpkin. But this is what it looks like after it was boiled and pureed. That's the pureed pumpkin. It, it just looks awesome in there, doesn't it? This is two, uh, two cups of fresh pumpkin. So what you're going to need for this, um, you need two cups of fresh pumpkin or canned. One and a half cup of heavy cream or you can t use a 12, 12 ounces of evaporated milk but this is one and a half cups of heavy cream you can get that in your dairy section in the grocery store one half cup of brown sugar needs to be packed pack it in there and get it to that line and if you don't want that much sugar that's okay you can reduce that you're going to need one third cup of white sugar and here's a little tip for you we've got room temperature eggs we have two and one yolk, and they need to be beaten. So we'll beat those here in a few minutes. And then I have a room temperature. It's been sitting out for about an hour pre-prepared pie crust. Now, you can make your own pie crust. It's very easy. There's recipes galore online to how to do that, but this is just one of those little quickies. And I do mine very rough. I don't worry about it. And it's, it's ungreased. That's an ungreased glass plate would be best then inside here here's a half teaspoon of salt we have two teaspoons that looks like a lot but that's two teaspoons of cinnamon and then we have a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and then we have about a half teaspoon of lemon zest that's where you scrape the rind of the lemon okay and you need to mix all these together so you mix that together Then you're going to incorporate your sugar. So you've got the white sugar. So you've got your brown sugar. Let's just knock that in there. Can you see that good? Just mix those sugars together. not going to use a, a mixer of any kind for this recipe. So let's beat our two eggs and the one yolk. So we're going to beat that and we're going to add the eggs. I always mix my eggs anyway in a separate bowl. You don't want a bad egg going in your dessert. So mix that up good. looks good so we're going to add the eggs to the spices and then we're going to stir in the pumpkin and again this is two cups fresh pumpkin and you can use can most folks will say get a sugar pumpkin one of the pie pumpkins but this pumpkin is pretty awesome looking that we have see how that looks in there now and then we're going to add and I'm just stirring this, let's go ahead and stir that. And then we'll add our heavy cream. If you can see that. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you need to preheat your oven to 425. Now you're gonna bake it at 425 for about 15 minutes. Then you're gonna reduce the heat to 350. But I'll show you that here in a few minutes. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 425. So there's with the pumpkin and the spices and the egg. Now let's add our heavy cream. This is one and a half cup. And if you can see that, we're gonna mix that in. That's why I say, might as well just go ahead and use the sugar 
the real white sugar because um, you're adding this heavy cream and that's very fattening. And there's our mixture. And we're gonna pour that in our pie crust. Okay. And here's our, it's very, it's moving around quite a bit. So let's put it in our oven. Our oven is ready. I'm gonna put it on a pan though. I put that on the middle oven rack. And you see it's at 425. Let's set our timer to 15 minutes. And then we will reduce it. And that goes off to 350 and cook it for about another 40 minutes. The pie has been cooking for 15 minutes, so we're going to turn this down. The timer went off. This is how it looks at 15 minutes at 425. So now we're going to turn it to 350. There's 350. I have to push bake on mine. And we're going to say timer. I have to use a timer or I will forget that something's in the oven. And I'm going to do it for 40 for right now. I had just a little bit of pumpkin um, custard or pumpkin pie left over. There's just a little in here um, that didn't fit. I didn't want my pie to overrun, so that's the coffee pot going. So what I did was I took some leftover dough and I cut little circles from one of these little measuring cups and I put them inside these mini muffin pans. And I'm going to um, just fill it, each one, and have some little pumpkin bites, and we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to use a regular spoon, though. So I'll fill a couple, and you can see, and then we'll just see how pumpkin bites taste. Let's take a look at our pie and see it has two more minutes to go but let's just see if it's ready and one thing that I did I didn't get a chance to show you is I put a foil around the edges to keep it from getting too brown I didn't want my crust too brown I broke my finger so let's take it out and I think it's ready it's gonna have to sit for about two hours to cool and get settled and you can see that the crust is just a golden brown, but if I hadn't put that around, all you do, it's kind of, you just kind of lay it over around the pie. But that looks good and settled. Now when you take it out, it's still gonna jiggle just a little bit, but that's gonna settle after two hours and it'll be one delicious pie. Still bubbling. Well, I just took the mini pumpkin bites out of the oven. They, were, they cooked at 350 for about 20 minutes. I thought maybe 30 and it looks like, oh, I should have done that. Oh, it's hot. But I'm gonna let them cool and just do their thing. Okay, this is Nakanya's husband, Tony, just talking on the day after the video shoot for this pumpkin pie and we ate half of it last night. Actually, I ate the majority of that. And I just wanted to say, this is one of my favorite things she's ever cooked. And the reason I really like this is she didn't put a whole lot of weirdness in it. Just the nutmeg and the brown sugar and uh, stuff like that. The eggs. And it looked so soupy when it went into the pie. And I did not think this was going to turn out great. But after she baked it and after it's chilled really well and all and cooled down, that is some fantastic pumpkin pie without the strange taste where people put, I think, sometimes a lot of weird weird seasonings and spices and stuff into pumpkin pies that sort of kill the pumpkin taste. But thanks again to Dennis Griffin for giving us this awesome pumpkin. It was just great. If you look at one of my, the video where I've got about carving pumpkins, Tony carves a three pumpkin video there. You'll see the, the size of that pumpkin that he gave us. And we made a really cool jack-o-lantern. It's the green jack-o-lantern that toward the end of that video. But thanks to my wife, I'm going to eat some more of this tonight. I'm going to go get some fine 
uh, vanilla ice cream to eat with that. Folks, take a look and try this little recipe out. You'll not be sorry.